Okay, welcome to the webinar. I want to keep this as short as possible. Because of that, I'm not going to share with you testimonials and clinical stories. You can see all of those on my social media, YouTube, and Google reviews. But for this webinar, I'm going to share with you three things about stem cell therapy that you probably didn't know. Remember the game, Two Truths and a Lie? Well, today we're going to play Two Lies and a Truth. So here they are. Number one, many people think that stem cell therapy is illegal in the United States. This is just not true. They also think that it is uh, from aborted fetal tissue, which is also not true. Number two, most people think that medication, steroid injections, and replacement surgery are the only way to go. They're the only option for worn out joints. And we're gonna show you that that also is not true. And then lastly, number three, we're going to talk about how these procedures work in 2022 and beyond. But my goal for this webinar is that after I share all of that, is to have you click on the link below to schedule a one-on-one -on -one visit with me to talk about your options. So let's get started. My name is Dr. Brady Weirich and I've been in practice in Southeast Idaho for 16 years, five of which I've been in the regenerative medicine space. My wife and I own and operate the Intermountain Center for Well-Being here in Idaho Falls. My office has injected thousands of joints and has seen many, many miracles, including in myself and in my own family. I spent the first decade or so of my practice in functional medicine and functional neurology. I always thought that there was more answers when it came to joint pain. The most frustrating thing was watching my dad's health decline over the years. A good friend of mine, colleague of mine, reached out to me in 2017 and told me about stem cell therapy. I was hooked. It just made sense, so I jumped all in. The first person we injected was actually my dad. By the time we convinced him to do the injections, he was scheduled to have both of his knees replaced. As a lot of our patients do, he walked out of the office that day with less pain and better range of motion. Dad avoided having to have a replacement for the rest of his life. Here we are years later helping many people achieve that same success, helping them reduce their pain and getting back to what they love. So now let's talk about the three things that you need to know about stem cell therapy, the two lies and a truth, if you will. So number one, one of the biggest preconceived notions is that stem cell therapy is illegal in the United States and that stem cell therapy comes from aborted babies. Neither of these statements are true. The narrative comes from pharmaceutical companies that want you to believe that taking their medication is the only option. They want to keep selling you their drugs. The narrative was even promoted by Google when they banned advertising for regenerative medicine therapies back in 2019. We've been using stem cell-derived biologics that are derived from perinatal tissue from pre-planned C-sections in the United States since 2018. These products come from healthy moms and healthy babies the products are only available after rigorous testing and safety protocols. In our office, we've enjoyed a very high success rate with these products. In fact, most of our patients come from referrals from people that we've helped in the past. This is our number one source of new patients in our office. The second preconceived notion is that when you have an arthritic joint, then the end game is joint replacement. You go to the doctor because you're in pain, the doctor prescribes meds. You take those meds until the effect wears off and they don't work anymore. The good doctors will send you to therapy, but the next step is to do steroid injections. And from there, it's off the joint replacement. Stem cell therapy is a disruptor to this school of thought. Never before has a procedure been available that will reduce inflammation, modulate your immune system, and signal your body to regrow new tissue in as little as one visit. We have seen this time and time again in our office. The third and final point is how does stem cell therapy actually work? Here's a bit of a backstory. Mesenchymal stem cells were discovered in 1976 by a Russian scientist named A.J. Feindenstein. He discovered that these blank slate cells were a pivotal part of your body's healing process. The thinking was that these stem cells would actually differentiate into healthy cells of damaged tissue. Interesting enough, Dr. Feinstein later admitted he was wrong. He redacted a lot of the theories and he said that we should be referring to these stem cells as mesenchymal signaling cells. When it comes to regenerative medicine and stem cell therapy, there are many options. It's easiest to describe the options in terms of cell phone technology. In the last decade, we have gone from flip phones to the iPhone 14. Stem cell therapy has done the same. You can use your body's own stem cells. This has been around since 2007. It's been a great technology for a lot of people, but you are limited to your age. Your stem cells are only as old as you are. This is like using a flip phone. You can make calls, you can send tasks, but the process is slow and doesn't always work. The next best thing is using stem cells from donated perinatal tissue. This gives you the youngest viable cells available and we saw a drastic upswing in their effectiveness. This is like going from a flip phone to an iPhone 5. Now you can text, make calls, get on the internet and send pictures and videos to and from your grandkids. Today, we're using stem cell derived biologics. These are the biological markers that stem cells secrete. 
They're signal molecules that activate your body's healing response and tell your body to produce more cartilage. They are much more concentrated, much more reliable, safer and more effective, and less expensive than cellular therapy. This is moving on to the iPhone 14. This is why we've seen the greatest success. So let me ask you this. Has all of this made sense to you? We've covered that stem cell therapy is available in the United States, that it does not come from aborted fetal tissue. We've talked about how people think that their only option is surgery and how that may not be true. And finally, we've talked about how we're actually doing these procedures in 2022 right here in East Idaho. Now's the fun part. What are you going to do next? The number one fear that we see is that people are afraid it won't work for them. We cannot guarantee the results. We can only mitigate the risks. But I will say this. There's a reason why our number one source of new patients is referrals. It's because this stuff works. At the end of the day, you're going to save time and money by trying this first. While the procedures are not covered by insurance, they are still much less expensive than the surgery and there is no rehab costs. There is also little to no downtime post-injection. In most cases, you can get back to the things that you love right after the injection. So let me ask you, if these injections will do for you half of what I'm saying, is it worth it to you? If all we did was make it so that you had half of the pain and improved function so you could do more with your grandkids, is that worth it? If you've answered yes, then simply click on the link and schedule a time for us to chat. To be successful with this, you're going to need more than information alone. The next step is up to you. Clicking on the link below will only cost you time. What will it cost you if you don't? When we get together, we'll look at your individual case, we'll look at your options, and then you can decide what course of action works best for you. It really could be as simple as one injection. Thank you.